So it seems like there are certain searches on YouTube that are almost guaranteed to get you infected with malware. This is one of them. If I just type F into YouTube, I see Fortnite Skin Swapper and I click on it. By the way, I don't play Fortnite, have no idea what this is. Now, the interesting thing about this is you see a video pretending to be some kind of mod for this game. And it's by a channel that has 387,000 subscribers. That's almost as many subscribers as me. And so you might look at this video and think this is a legitimate mod or this is a legitimate modder who is part of the gaming community and you might be tempted to download it. But immediately, if you've been watching the PC security channel, you should see some red flags. We've got a download link and we've got a password for some reason. So this is a password protected archive. So not a good sign, but surely a channel with 387,000 subscribers couldn't just be spreading malware, right? So maybe you go ahead and decide to download this. And then when you open it, it asks you for the password, but don't worry, the video has the password right there. So you naively type in 1231. And doing this is just like saying the evil incantation that's gonna bring some evil dummy to life. You can't go back after this point. But again, it looks quite legitimate. So you might look at something like this and think this is a mod file because it's got a ton of files and it's just got one setup. But if we extract the setup file, and do a quick analysis of it. As you can see, this is most likely some kind of a Luma stealer, which is a password stealer malware that if you run it on your system, it is going to steal all the login credentials, like your YouTube login credentials, which might be how they hacked this channel. And then they will start spreading their malware, hacking more people in the process. Now, this is an insane trend that's been going around on YouTube in the last few months. And a lot of my subscribers have been pointing this out. We have had several threads about this on our Discord. People sending me screenshots. By the way, this video is sponsored by NordVPN. Now, this is like the next level evolution of viruses using one computer to infect many others. Now the viruses are on the internet using YouTube channels and Instagram accounts and all of these social media platforms and their reach to infect people all around the world. Malware is evolving. <laughs> Damn, that's scary. Now, the crazy thing is there's some other searches. So if you type in GTA, um, the first thing that comes up, GTA 5 online mod menu. Once again, we see the same channel, same kind of video, and if we go to the link, it's the exact same link. So malware authors are using or abusing the YouTube search algorithm to find the most trending searches and upload videos with that title on the most popular accounts to get people infected with their malware. Now, if we click on this channel, you will see that it's filled with videos, including things like Valorant cheats, whatever the kids are into these days, I guess. And if you click on it, it's all leading to the same file. So you know for sure this isn't legitimate now. And this is the point at which it might be obvious to you what is happening, that this is a hacked channel and the attackers are using it to propagate their malware to as many people as possible. The view numbers are a little bit of a giveaway as well. But if you did a search on YouTube, and just clicked on the first link. You may not realize that. So I hope this video serves as a bit of a warning. Don't cheat in video games. Also, do not download things from random YouTube videos, even if they have a very high subscriber count, as the channels could just be hacked. And most importantly, biggest red flag, if you ever get a mod or anything in the form of an archive, make sure it's not password protected. The reason they password protect these files is so that they can't be scanned by an antivirus before it's too late. And also, as I always say, it helps to have real-time protection on your main system because again, at the end of day, that's where everything's gonna be extracted and that's where it's gonna execute from. So protecting that last line of defense is crucial no matter what else you do. Please like and share this video because I know this is going around a lot don't forget to subscribe to the PC security channel. I mean, come on guys, we've got to have a lot more than the hacked channel that's spreading malware, right? And if you'd like to stay private on the internet, a VPN might help. And there's one that also comes with additional protection benefits. 
A VPN is an essential tool if you're trying to do security research because you don't want hackers to be able to track you. NordVPN allows me to pick any location in the world. So if I wanted to visit Switzerland because it's a wonderful place, I can just click a button and now I will be connected to Switzerland, which means if a hacker is trying to track me, they're going to think I'm in Switzerland when I'm in the UK. It also has things like threat protection. They have their own cloud scanner that's going to scan your downloads. They also have a great feature called MeshNet. So if you're looking to set up a VPN to play games or so your devices can talk to each other or stream things from one device to another, you can use that. You've also got a dark web monitor so you can check if your email has been leaked or any personal details have been disclosed in a data breach. If you'd like to check them out, go to nordvpn.com slash tpsc and you can get a great deal with four months for free. Thank you all so much for watching and as always stay informed, stay secure.